What's up, divas and divos? It's your girl, April, and... Oh. You was like, nay. Nay. And we're back to do a new um, haul, a new try-on haul. This one is from Rose Gal. If you guys are familiar with Rose Gal, I've done a lot of their reviews, their try-on hauls. And we have a few things that we like to share with you guys. The first thing I tell you guys, and I'm just going to repeat it like always, so that way, for those who are new to my channel and don't know how to shop on like Rose Gal, or Rose Wholesale, or Sammy Dress, or Zafu, or Dress Lily, or Gum Mess, because they're all affiliate sites, then definitely listen to this info. When you're looking for clothing, first of all, like they have all of them have clothing and they have like the most affordable clothing. But as you guys know, they are China based. So their sizes do run a little bit small as versus sizes here in the United States. So when you are looking for items to wear, first thing you have to do is measure yourself. Measure your boobage area, your hips, your waist. You can even do your inseam and shoulders if you want to put them. Second, when you're looking for clothing, for each garment, I don't care if you're looking for 20 things, you have to look at the size chart for each garment because they ranges. Each one ranges. For one thing, you can get a 2X. The other thing, you can get a 1X or vice versa. So you definitely want to look at the size charts for each garment. And the third thing is each item does have a processing time. So this time around, we did get only, we only got a little bit of stuff, which is cool because these videos take time. So especially with trying them on and editing them but so yeah we did get some things they have shoes purses accessories they got everything on rose gal so you definitely have to check them out um they offer free shipping dhl so just make sure you check that out too because you have to check the shipping methods so with further ado let's get into this video haul so we're gonna start with what nay has sitting on her lap because i'm pretty sure she got something to say about that purse um it looked way better on the picture a whole lot bigger. I thought it was big and it looked big enough to the point where I could fit my school stuff like my binders and stuff and my notebooks. But um it's a pretty color I, but I didn't expect it to be this small. It's a whole lot bigger like in the display. But it comes with a little um oh, I'm okay with that mm -hmm. and it comes with a little little pouch. Yeah pouch and like a strap to go with it which is cute. I like that. I just really wish it would have been a whole lot bigger for my stack. Well, you can put some school stuff in there, still. You still. cannot put anything in this. <laughs> I wanted to fit my binder, so I wanted to carry my backpack, because that hurts after a while on my back. So, well, you could put, like, your pens and pencils and markers in it. Oh, wow. Well. I don't put anything in there except for my sanity. <laughs> your sanity? I don't even think that's gonna fit up in there. I could bring it to me if I go in somewhere like maybe I don't know. Mall. I your sanity? Know. No, the purse. Oh, I don't know. I was like, I was like, you're gonna bring your sanity with you too? Well, yeah, you could carry like your little change in there. You know, your wallet. Because it comes with a wallet that's the exact same okay. size as it. Okay, so the next thing you guys seen I did have a couple of backdrops in my video So I do have some tapestries if you guys are not familiar with the tapestry They're just stuff that you can hang on the wall for wall decor a lot of youtubers like to hang them for backdrops I'm gonna tell you about these now. I do like them, but let me tell you something I am not one to be changing the settings on my camera Okay, because once you put up a backdrop it changes the lighting it changes the color it changes the lens color So it's like I gotta sit there and sometimes it makes me so angry Angry that I don't even want to do it anymore but anyway either here nor there if you have the patience to do that then go for it but they're really inexpensive they're like 10 bucks this one is just like a colorful brick wall they're good quality they really don't wrinkle they're more or less like this one is like a nylon kind of like parachute material so I just hang it on this clothing rack that I have I have this clothing rack that you know the portable clothing racks and I just use shower curtain rings and I punch a hole through them and I have like a whole bunch of them on there so when I want to switch it up I just flip it over um, but I don't really use it as much because I did have an issue with just messing with the actual color scheme on my lens and then I was just like forget about it forget it so I think like to use these is best to, to, to do it at night because I like to use natural light sunlight and it just messes with everything but yeah definitely check them out because they got loads of tapestries and they are so cheap like for real for real cheap 
So now onto the clothing haul part, which is a really cute kind of like lumberjack. Um, I don't think it's wool, but it's a nice, it's almost like a wool blend, but it's nice though. And I don't, what is it, like a dress? Well, I wouldn't wear it as a dress. I would wear it like with some jeans or maybe like shorts. I don't know. Yeah. It did feel a little itchy at the arms. Did it? Yeah, a little bit, but um, I like it. I like the, 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 the patches. The patches on it, yeah. It's, they're really cute. Mm -hmm. but overall it was really cute just really itchy at the arms though but i like the i did like the buttons the the snap buttons yeah the snap buttons instead of having to i hate buttons like that. that yeah the size she got is an extra large and it does have pockets correct yeah it does have pockets in it yeah mm -hmm. so it's like a it's kind of like a shirt dress it's really cute i don't think this is like what kind of material you know the one thing that is weird about these a um these international websites they never I, I haven't noticed like a lot of them say what type of material is made by but it's not wool but it's a thick material i thought it was cute on you and all the different patches on it you got an m and an f what the heck does that stand for because i could think of an m and an f that's like a bad word i was thinking that too you was <laughs> and what is this one Oh, that's just the number, 38. So then the next item is what I got here. Okay, so I, I don't know what it is, but I'm really liking these rose color dresses. And I think because I lost some weight that a girl is trying to get sexy on y'all. So this one right here is in a size 16. And I just follow those charts, but however, I could have got a size smaller um, because I didn't measure myself. I use my old measurements, okay, before I lost the weight. But I like this dress because it does zipper up in the back. It's a stretch material, okay? And I like the way they have the rose applique on the dress, or it's more or less like a big rose patch, but they did a really good job at where they put them. You know what I mean? They did a really good job with that. I do like the cutout shoulders, you know, that's kind of like in, and the choker neckline is really pretty, along with the peekaboo top. Um, but um, it does zipper up in the back, like I said, and it does fit it does fit nice and tight because um, you do want it to hug your body but the one thing I like the most about it is the material it's not cheaply made material so it does have a nice good stretch what's cool about it also is you know you get some of those bodycon dresses um, that like those Instagram dresses because that's what I'll be calling them Instagram you know how they have those boutiques on Instagram with clothing they have like I bought two three items from like this one little Instagram boutique and let me tell y'all the dress was like all bodycon dress and then when I got it, it was like girl I wouldn't even wrap that on my head because it was so thin and like you can see you can see what your heart how many rate how many beats your heart was in a minute that's how thin it was like you could not wear no panties with it or nothing because it was so thin and so see-through and just so you ever see that stretch material is so thin that you could see you could see every single pimple dimple bump and lump in your skin so that's the one thing that i like about this dress is not that thin cheap material because i hate those instagram boutiques like i mean they cute but they close me too overpriced and too cheaply made so i give it to this dress i do like it i like the way it hugs me so yes this is what you got there girlfriend um, i got me a pair of flare pants flare bell bottom pants they're really cute i like the design on them that's the reason why i got it um, i just wish they weren't so long on me I'm really, really short, so they kind of they cover up my whole foot. So, well, you could always hem them. They got this this tape hem thing, and then I'll just iron it on for you, and they'll be okay. Oh, I like the material. The material is really nice. It's very comfy. Ugh. What's wrong with the crotch? Because I have to like pull them up and pull them up the thigh. Just oh, because you're the... short. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because okay, because you're she she is short. She's a little bit shorter than me, so I I feel you on that. I hate when. It wouldn't just be sagging right there, right? Oh, I hate that. It makes me feel like I got on men's pants, one of my pants. But I thought they looked cute on you. Oh, yeah, they're really cute. I like them. And they're elastic at the waist. And you guys know I love everything elastic. And they're like a polyester material. She has some like this um, from Justice, you know, a little girl shop. because She can shop there because she's short. And they're flare like that, and she loves them too. Um, but they're those really are comfy long. pants. Really comfy. Everything's comfy to you. They're comfortable. Easy to move in instead of having like walking jeans all day. That's why you see how you never want to wear the jeans. I always say that I hate wearing jeans. So you might as well tell them what you have with your little sweater cardigan that you had on with it. 
Oh, um, tell the girl. It was itchy. Was it? Yeah, a little bit, but it was really cute. One thing I didn't like uh, like about it was like it didn't look like it did on the picture. The picture looked very it looked very clean on the picture, and then clean, clean like more. I guess uh, more. I don't know, elegant. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I know what you mean, like clean lines and stuff, yeah, and nice. Yeah, it looked very. Nice. Yeah, it looked very nice, and then got it. It's cute though. I really do like it. It's really cute. Um, well, it ain't cute if you don't like it though. No, I do like it. It's really do. cute. It's a cute color. It's a really cute color. Um, the sleeves are nice and comfy. But... It don't have no buttons. No, I don't, have no, I don't like. I don't like many buttons. You don't like just two. They could have had like two buttons. I just feel like it should have had some buttons. It seems like a lot of their cardigans never have buttons and like, do they wear buttons? Do they button their clothes out there? I don't really know. Well then, what I have here is comfy for me. So you guys know, I just like it plain and simple. And I like my shirts to be this length. They're very roomy and just like, comfy like Nay would say. Um, the material is a nice material. It does have a little pull to it, a nice little pull and stretch to it. I like the fact that it doesn't have buttons. It just has a kind of like open top, kind of like collar thing. And it does have like a pleat at the neckline in the back. But I like the way it kind of like has a swing flow to it. So if you wanted to wear something like some leggings or some like jeans or whatever you prefer, then you could with this shirt because it's just like an easy going basic shirt. The sleeves were nicely fitting because um, sometimes when I get sleeves from them like cardigans they're kind of tight on my arm so this did fit well I like the fact that the material is breathable they did a good job with the hemming of it but it is breathable material um I would say I this was um, this is probably gonna be like one of my favorite pieces um, because I like to wear stuff like this especially um, being that I don't really go too many places it's just something easy for me to throw on and the last and thing that I have um this is um, I don't know if they, I'm not really sure if this is considered lingerie but it did is come in a lingerie category no I don't think this is like made in the um, for lingerie because it but then it did come with some little g-string panties so I don't know Mm. But this is a size 4X and I thought it was super cute on the website. It's a bustier and in the back you have to lace it up like back in the old days, like a corset back in the old days. But here's the funny thing about it. You want to tell them the funny thing about when I was trying to put it on? Oh, she was unlacing it the whole time when she realized it. I told her it had a zipper. That's the second time I did that with something. So yeah, I unlaced it, damn near the whole thing almost. I was I was just about to, and then here goes Nay. There's a zipper right there, and I was like, where? And and I was like, just great. So yeah. You realize there was a zipper in the skirt too, or what skirt? Skirt. There's a zipper in the skirt too. Oh yeah, you told me that, but uh -huh. it's it's elastic, so I didn't even need that. Uh -huh. So it does have a zipper on the side. So if you guys decide to buy this, just realize you don't have to unlace it. In the back is a zipper, so I guess that would make it easier to come out of. It's cute. I like it because it's just pink and black, but there are different colors. And it did come with the bottom portion, which is the skirt, and it does have a zipper on the side too. But I didn't really need that because it's so stretchy mm -hmm. that you know I didn't really need the skirt. Part. It's like a high low. I mean, I didn't need to unzip it high low. And um, outfit it is real cute. Like it's so cute. Um, and it did come with some g-string panties. Um, this is not something that I would wear outside. Okay, definitely not because I do have a husband. So this is. Why would I wear this outside? Okay, your father will kill me. A costume party. That's what Tati said. Tati came in. She's like, oh, you got your birthday party suit on. I was like, this not a birthday party dress. You didn't hear her? No. When she came in, we was, when she was walking by when we was um, doing our try on. Oh yeah, she's like, oh, it's a birthday dress. Yeah, something like that. She thought it was a birthday dress. Now it's just like a costume party. But you know what? This did come out around the Halloween time. So, But it's not Halloween. It's a, it's, it's, it's a lingerie for me. Lingerie. It's a lingerie. Yes. A lingerie. Lingerie. It's a lingerie. Okay. On that note, you guys, we hope you enjoyed this Rose Gal haul. Make sure you check them out. They always got coupon codes on their website. They always got some type of cyber sales. You'll love what you can find. They got loads and loads of pages and stuff. So if you are looking for something in particular. So on that note, we love you guys. We hope you have a great week. Stay diva and devolicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and thumbs this video up. And we will see you guys in a soon-to-come video. Bye. Bye.